I'm chewing gum this video. I'm not entirely sure it's a good idea. But I was chewing it. And that garbage is all the way over there. I'm not quite interested in walking over there right now. That reminds me of a story though. Uh, I'll tell you later. Now you can't say that no one's ever told you that they're going to tell you a story later. And I will tell you a story later. I... You must have hit me really hard with that DDT because I don't remember that at all. Was it when we were wrestling in the backyard with my brothers and everyone? Okay, so backstory for everyone. My brothers and cousin and friends, we all used to have a wrestling federation in our backyard. We would wrestle on old mattresses, and we all had characters. My character is a very bad name, because I was really young when my family gave it to me, when my brothers gave it to me. It's a name I, I can't really say on here, but it became my persona. But everybody pretty much had two characters. My second character was a referee. But I was pretty much my, my family, like every, everyone's older than me. Like my, my one brother's uh, seven years older than me. The other's 11 years older than me. Cousin was around that age. Our f uh, family friend was my, m the middle brother's age. And uh, I was basically the rag doll because I was like nine when we started doing that stuff. Probably younger. So I was just like, poof, poof. they could do any move to me, choke slam stuff, and just like power bombs, and I had fun doing it. I liked to be included. That's what I liked. I had the championship once. It got stolen from me. But yeah, uh, I don't remember that DDT at all. It's weird that you vaguely remember that. And you didn't hurt me often, and I'm pretty sure you pressed that button. Pretty sure you did that maliciously and on purpose. But it did cause me to run into a pole while we were playing frisbee on our street. That was fun. Okay, so my story. I also have a GameStop story when I went to go pick up uh, Kingdom Hearts. So I get in there, and there's two people at the counter already paying for their thing. Uh, so I went over, I checked the action figures, see if there was any Marvel Legends that I needed. Nothing. Went to go try and find the Amiibo. Couldn't find any amiibo. I don't know where the heck they went. This whole time, it's only those people. I would be next in line if I go to if I went to wait in line. So I w stood online and there for like five seconds. They're not really going all that fast. So I'm like, oh, the, the Nintendo stuff over here. I wonder if there's a Nintendo figures that I need. So I go over there, and a guy walks in, and goes immediately to the the line. I'm like, crud. So I go and I walk behind him, and you know the people pay, and then he puts some headphones on the table. He's like, yeah, my, we bought these yesterday and, you know, they don't work. You got, when you move the wire, uh, you know, it doesn't hear, blah, blah, blah. So he's trying to, he's, he's trying to then ask the girl if there's any wired or wireless headsets. Did I say controller or did I say headset? I, I meant, I said, I wanted headset. So if I said controller, I meant headset. Um, so he put on, a, so he's asking, oh, what about that one? Uh, that one. Is that one wired? What's different about it? Is that the one that I had before? Oh, okay. Uh, is that the only one you have for, for Xbox? Yeah, that's the only one that's for Xbox? The only one wireless for Xbox. Okay, you have other wired ones. Okay, um, how much is that that one? Yeah, yeah. I so she's like, oh, the 700? I, I don't know what that means. Yeah, that one. Oh, it's $100. Oh, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. How much is the other one? Oh, $35, the wired one. Oh, it's such a crazy, such a crazy gap. And I thought that was going to be the end of it. I thought he was going to be like, okay, just, just give me that one. He just, he's like, okay, all those, all those ones up there. Any of those wired? So she, he gets, he makes the lady pick up the, like the step stool and bring it over there, the step ladder or whatever, and climb up it and check all of them. They're all the same stuff that's behind the counter. He just wanted her to look at all of them. So I'm sitting there for like 10 minutes watching this guy make this lady look at all of the different headsets 
dude, first of all, I'm almost positive that that he had one. His son had one. It had broken. So he decided to go buy a new one, switch it out, bring it back the next day, say, oh, this one's broken. I just got it yesterday. And uh, I don't remember if he, he was just like, you know what, forget about it. I'll just take the credit. Because at that point, I think I was on my phone. But yeah, I was there for like 10 minutes waiting like for this guy to be finished. Oh, no, I wasn't on my phone. Another guy finally came and took me. That's, yeah, took my business. Okay. He didn't physically take me. I'm here. I was wrong. I don't know why I said California roll. It's a Philly roll, obviously, Philadelphia cream cheese. But I've never had a volcano roll. And I was interested until you said sriracha. I checked out. No, thank you. Bleh. What's my go-to place? There's a pizzeria nearby called Ralph's Pizzeria. Uh, it's got the best damn pizza you'll, you'll probably ever have. It's been our family pizza, the place we've gone for our whole lives. Well, my whole life. <laughs> my whole life. But there's another... There's another... Um, pizzeria down at Seaside called Maruca's and they make amazing pizza as well Ooh, excuse me amazing pizza as well so much so that we'll take the 45 minute drive or an hour drive down to Seaside strictly to go get a few pies and bring it home and usually freeze the rest of them but we don't eat that night we freeze it so we can eat it throughout the next weeks but yeah pizzeria you can go to pizzerias pretty much any time. Love pizza. Love pizza. You are so positive that we're going to be so big someday. And I would love that. But I think I'm going to have to pay some people overseas to give us some likes. And uh, subscribe. I wonder if that's a business. That was a joke, but I wonder if that's a business. It's pretty messed up. I wonder if that's how everybody got their first, like, thousand views. And then, you know, because they're getting those thousand views from, or thousand views and thousand subscribers or whatever, from those random people, it actually shows up on other people's lists. Huh. It's pretty shady. Pretty, pretty shady. I bet people do it, though. Pretty shady. If we do get that play button, ever. I said we just have Smash tournaments every time that you're in town to see who takes it home at that point. If I win, I take it home. Or keep it home. If you win, you bring it home. It's kind of, it'd be like our belt. Our WWE belt. We should have a belt made and whoever has the most views on their videos at the end of a month gets to take, uh, you'd have to Ship it to me every week, every month, every other month. Never mind. Dumb idea. So my question of the day is, what's your favorite smell? Completely random question. But, you know, if I'm passing a bread aisle, or if I'm smelling fresh bread, or if there's bread and I see it, I want to smell it. So what's yours? Well, thank you for watching. If you like this video... Give it a thumbs up. Two if you could. Don't do this. Click that subscribe button if you cannot live without the 90s guys. You can follow me on Twitter at 90s guy Tom. You can follow Kev on Twitter at 90s guy Kev. Follow both of us on the Instagram at the 90s guys. And uh, with that, you'll see me next time. I would take the high road. But I know that I'm going low. I'm a bad, I'm a bandito.